Hey guys, welcome to PB Garage. Today we're going to try and prove or disprove some of the information that's floating around online about finding forged crankshafts in early Volkswagen 2.5s, that's the 07K. So uh, I've been reading a whole bunch of stuff about which motors have them and don't. We're going to try and see if that's true here at the junkyard today. Stick around. <laughs> Okay, so let's start out by answering the first and easiest question, which is why would you even want a forged crankshaft? So it seems that some of these motors were shipped from the factory with a forged crankshaft in them. And then in the later models, they all went to a cast crankshaft. Rumor has it, uh, the forged crankshafts are a lot stronger and can take a lot more horsepower, a lot more abuse if you're building an engine specifically for turbocharging. I'm just in here because down the road, I do want to build a higher powered five cylinder whether it goes into the rabbit, whether it goes into another chassis that I have. Now I've been looking for quite a while and the main piece of information that I was basing sort of my search on was this theory that the oil pan bolts on uh, engines with the forged crankshaft had a Torx head on the bolt and the engines with a cast crankshaft had a 10 millimeter head, like hex head bolt. Uh, holding the lower, lower oil pan on to the motor. Now, as luck would have it, I ended up finding three 2.5 liters right next to each other at the junkyard this time. I had two 2006 Jettas, both of them with BGP motors, and I took pictures here of the serial numbers just for comparison purposes, if they mean anything to anybody. And then uh, the third car was a 2009 Jetta Sport Wagon with a CBT motor. So I fully expected that I would open these oil pans up and I would find the CBT, that's the 2009 motor with the 10 millimeter bolts on the oil pan, having a cast crankshaft and the other two cars, both with Torx headed bolts on the oil pan, both 2006s, having forged crankshafts. So I went about getting under there, removed all the bolts, I cracked everything loose with a T-handle and then I got in there with the impact driver just to spin all the bolts out. Once I had all of the bolts out, I was able to remove the oil pans with a little bit of help from a pry bar. So now we're under the 2009 Sport Wagon. This one had the 10 millimeter heads and I did spin the crank a little bit just to get a look at the edge of the crank here. And you can see it's nice and smooth, which would indicate that it was a cast crank and I pretty much assume that that would be a cast crank in that car. And then I came over here to one of the 2006 Jettas with a BGP and had a peek inside. And to my surprise, you know, this one also had a smooth um, seam, like normally there would be a seam down the middle there. So I was a little bit confused as to why uh, this one looked exactly the same. I thought maybe there was uh, something different about the forged cranks. But then once I pulled the third oil pan off and had a look in, you can see on this one, it's very clear the little um, line there from the forging process. And this is the Torx headed bolts that came out of it. So I was a little bit surprised that only one of those two motors had the Torx headed bolts, but at least I found a forged crank. So what I ended up doing was in order to just make my life a little bit easier, I tried to remove the crank in the junkyard, but I ended up putting the whole bottom end into my car to bring it home and work on there. Okay guys, so we're back at the garage now just because I was having a struggle getting these flywheel bolts off in the junkyard. So I ended up buying the whole short block and I'm gonna return the block and everything else and just keep the crank and they're gonna end up just charging me for the crank. So once I got the flex plate off and got the timing cover off and you get this, this is the trigger wheel for the crank position sensor. Um, you can see the part numbers here on the end of the crank and you can see it's 07K 101E. Here, I'll make this easier to see for everybody. Uh, 07K 101E is this crank here. And um, you know, once it's out or once it's easy to see everything, it's very easy to identify the marks that I that sort of give it away as being forged. You can see all the that wide band there. Um, so if you were under the motor trying to see up through 
uh, the oil pan. One thing I actually noticed was a little bit easier of a giveaway than trying to spot, you know, obviously I spotted this, but uh, also on the end of the counterweights, when they're coming past sort of that window that you can see through, this really rough edge here where that sort of flash there was ground off, um, that's a telltale as well. So when you're checking in the junkyard and you're looking for a crank, you know, I think that it should be pretty easy to see it and identify it as forged. It's more obvious when you're doing it than I originally thought. And the thing that hung me up was that first motor that I looked at that had the T30 bolts on the oil pan. And then when I looked in, the crank looked just like the motor that had the 10 millimeter head bolts. So, I mean, I don't wanna say for sure that that's an issue uh, of a T30 motor not having a forged crank because that seems to be the theory, at least online, that all the T30 bolt motors have forged cranks. I found one that didn't, who knows? It could have been, you know, a warranty replacement crankshaft or it could have been some other kind of deal going on without one car in the junkyard. So thanks for checking this video out, guys. Uh, one thing I wanted to do was to try and check out some more motors at the junkyard and I haven't gotten around to it yet, but I will be having a peek. I'd love to find some that have uh, forged crankshafts and 10 millimeter head bolts because then we could bust that kind of theory. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this sets you guys on the right path so you can go find some forged crankshafts and save them from the wrecker and keep them for your high power builds. We will talk to you another time. Thanks very much. Have a good one.